Hi, I'm Gabe Balog. I'm the Bretta rep for North and South Carolina here up at Hyatt store. Today we're going to show you the new APX pistol. Comes in a 9, 9mm and 40 caliber, 17 round in the 9. First thing you'll notice on the Bretta is the slide serrations, very aggressive slide serrations running the length of the pistol. With that, you can grab that pistol anywhere and rack that slide back. You notice the pistol is unloaded. But you can, with aggressive slide serration, you can grab it anywhere to charge that pistol. It is a polymer frame striker fire pistol. This is Breda's first full size striker fire pistol. We have done the striker fire before in the Nano, the compact uh, 9mm pistol. But this is our first full size striker fire pistol. Starting at the front, it does have. 3.3 dot sight system, um, very large front front sight so you can pick up your target a lot faster. <clears throat> there is night sights available for those, those will be coming real soon. Uh, next thing you notice of course is a polymer frame. Back straps are removable. In the box it has a large back strap and a medium back strap and those as well are marked. So there's the large, medium, the small is on this pistol here. If I remember correctly, it is shipping with the medium frame on it. But for me, the small fits just fine. The large was just a little too much for me uh, for the trigger length of pull on it. It does have the Picatinny rail on the front as well. Some of the features that are a little different on this pistol to break it down, there's two different ways you can do it. By pulling the trigger, or it does have a decocker. That little pin there, that's what takes the chassis out of the frame. So it does have the serialized chassis on it. We have different colored frames. There's a gray, a green, and an OD tan. So, and it is ambidextrous. There's a slide release on both sides. It is a slide stop. So, left or right side, and the magazine release as well can be changed to the left hand. So, just some of the other features of it, I'm just going to break it down a little bit. Like I said, there's two different ways to do it. This pin here, as you can tell it is unloaded. So you can break it down like a standard striker fire, but the one way to break it down, first to show you by pulling the trigger. So you push this in, and you pull, the, push the takedown lever out, and you just rotate it down, and then you can pull the trigger, and it'll just slide right off. Putting it back on, just rack the slide all the way back. Second way, if you don't feel safe pulling the trigger, you can decock it by this little button here. You can use a 223 round, an ink pen, or just a punch. Basically, what you do is take it out of battery a little bit. In the hole until it clicks and stays in. Then you just push that lever again, rotate it down, and it automatically pops forward. So that way you don't have to pull the trigger to break it down. So it is a captured um, recoil spring guide rod system. There is two springs in there. The barrel is just a standard browning type action barrel. And basically that's all you have to break it down. To assemble it, just take everything in reverse. The guide rod is pretty dummy proof. There's only one way to stick it in. Can't go that way. Just seat it all the way down. And rack it back and you're ready to go. One way to change the back straps out, I went ahead and assembled this one a little bit. <laughs> On the inside here, there is a little bar. You just push it over and down, 
and it'll start to stick this out in the bottom. Then you just take your punch, pull it all the way out, and your back straps will just snap off. So that was the medium. Stick the large on there. This definitely increases your length of pull. Go ahead and put the medium back on. Again, there's only one way this can go. You can't go in that way. You never get your magazine in and it won't push all the way up in there. So you just stick that back up in there and your grip's back on. It does come with two magazines. These magazines only work in the APX. They will not work in the 90 series or the PX4. Magazines all are available. Uh, we do have holsters available for it as well. <laughs> so just some of the specs on it unloaded the gun is 26.8 ounces uh, like I said it does come in a 9 and a 40 caliber MSRP is going to be 575 uh, highest does have the guns on order they will start shipping to dealers well should be in stores on April 15th um, Go to the Hyatt's website and you can pre-order a shotgun.